Hello crafty friends and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be making 10 cards using happy birthday dies. So I've got 10 card panels, 10 card blanks, 10 gel prints and 10 happy birthday dies. These are all the birthday dies, well happy birthday dies that I've got in my stash. This one's a little bit of a cheat because it's a happy birthday stamp with a coordinating die. But we're going to be looking at how to make sentiment dies the star of the show. So you don't need these particular dies and they don't have to be happy birthday dies. They can be any sentiment dies. But hopefully by the end of the video, you'll have got some ideas about how to use them in a really impactful way on your clean and simple cards. So for card number one, I'm going to cut my happy birthday in this scripty font out of gold foil cardstock. I'm going to cut its shadow out of white cardstock and I'm going to cut these splats out of this gel print. But before I do, I'm going to cover it in contact paper, clear contact paper to make it shiny. If you haven't got contact paper, you could try clear packing tape, just cut off the excess. I'm going to use my mini Gemini to cut this and I'm going to use a cardboard shim just to give it a bit of extra pressure because it's got to cut through card and contact paper. So I've got my gold happy birthday here and I'm going to use my gluey dauber to pick up some of this high tech PVA glue and carefully daub it on the back trying not to shift the die cut around and get it covered in glue on the front. Oh, that didn't work, did it? Just wipe up that glue there and then take my happy birthday and add it to its shadow. Press it down with a bit of non-stick deli paper and before the glue dries, I can just get a damp baby wipe and go over the foil where there's a little bit of glue and just wipe that off. And any smeariness I can buff off with a microfiber cloth once it's dry. I'm going to put some foam tape on the back of my word, but not too near the edges because I'm gonna tuck the splats underneath the edges. And my panel can go on my card. I've taken the release paper off and I'm gonna put this pretty much bang in the middle of my card. So it's front and center. And I've got my splats here, which I've sorted into colors. And I'm going to start with the biggest splats, chop them in half, dip them in glue, and add them behind the sentiment, tucking them under. And I think just a few of the smaller ones now dotted around. We don't want to go too overboard. These are just really providing a colourful, glossary, glossary, <laughs> glossy backdrop for the gold shiny sentiment. I've got here some of the little splashy dots that the splat die cuts out. And I'll add a few of those, not too many, but it just brings a little bit of extra energy into the card I think. Right I think that is card number one done so we've made a big splash with some subtle colour in the background but lots of energy and a bright gold sentiment in the middle separated from the background by its shadow die. For card number two I'm going to use this die which cuts out a rectangle and the words. I've cut one from gold foiled cardstock and I've cut lots from a gel print, which was purple at this end and bluey at this end with a blend in the middle. And I'm just going to dip this in glue, mount it on a piece of white cardstock and trim it out. And I've cut another little bit that I'm going to pop underneath because I want this gold one 
to stand proud of the others that I'm going to stick on the card. I want this one to stand out. And because the gold one's going to be the star of the show, I'm going to put it about a third of the way down, two thirds of the way up, so that it sits on that third, which is where our eyes kind of naturally look when we look at things. So now I'm going to add these other happy birthdays in a column like this. I'll just dip them in glue and stick them down nice and straight. So there we have the card. I've added the panel to the card blank. I could add a little bit more gold, maybe some little gold drops or circles around here, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to leave it as it is. This one down the bottom isn't quite straight, but hey, it's a handmade card. So on to card number three, I've got this happy birthday circle die that cuts this and I've cut it out of gold foil cardstock again to give it the prominence that I want for these cards. I'm going to cut this circle out of my panel and I want it equidistant from these two sides but I don't need to worry about the orientation because I only want the hole not the bit in the middle and I'm going to mount this on here. I think yeah purple side at the bottom right i'm having to switch to voiceover for this next little portion of the video because my neighbors are well i don't know what they're doing they're smashing something in the garden and it's getting really noisy but anyway what i did next was once i'd glued the front panel down to the gel print i trimmed off the bit around the outside I then added glue to the back of the happy birthday piece and popped that in the aperture. I did use my T-square ruler to get the words straight or as straight as I could. They're bouncy, so they don't need to be perfectly straight. To bring a bit of the bounce out of the aperture and onto the front of the card, I added some gold foiled cardstock sequins, which I cut with my new sequin die. I'll show you that in a future video. I also cut some circles from another gel print that was similar in colour to the one I'd already used and added these to bring some of the colour out of the aperture and to finish it off I put crystal glaze on the colourful circles so they've got a bit of gloss and dimension and that's this card done. So on to card number four I'm going to use this die which has the happy and the birthday connected together by a line and I've cut it out of gold foil cardstock and two bits of smooth white cardstock and layered them together one on top of the other so that's three die cuts thick and that's just a nice way of adding a bit of dimension to your die cuts. got a bit of scrap paper here smooth white cardstock and I want to emboss it with this sort of bubble wrap type embossing folder so that's got a nice bit of texture now, but I'm going to trim it down because I only want a band really. And that's going to go across my panel there. And the gold is going to sit on top. But I want to bring in a bit of colour and I'm going to do that using, which one was I going to use? That one I think. And I'll add this to my card panel. And now I can chop the excess off. And now I shall glue it to my card blank. And I'm just wondering about using this tag die to add something behind my sentiment. I'll cut it out and see if it works. I'm not sure, I think it's too similar in height. I might need something wider or narrower. 
maybe this one yeah I think that'll do I'm thinking in the middle now So I think that will do for this card. It's got a bit of colour, a bit of texture and a bit of shimmer and shine. You could add a few drops or dots to embellish it, but I'm going to leave it as is. For card number five, I'm going to use these happy birthdays with their shadows in a scripty font. They're two separate words, two separate shadows. I've cut them from gold foil cardstock again and mounted them on their shadows cut from white cardstock. So I've got two gel prints here. They were both made during my gel print series, as were I think most of the gel prints that I'm using today. I'll leave a link to that series in the video description if you'd like to go and have a look. I'm going to use this sort of doily die to cut a blue shape or a peacock feather shape, I think it is and a smaller version of it to cut some from this pinky paper. So I'm thinking I want my happy birthday down in this corner here, justified to the right, and I'm going to have my big doily coming in from the bottom corner as well. It didn't quite cut properly, these two bits here, but that's okay because some of it is going to hang off and I'll just make sure that that's the part that hangs off. So I want to get some glue on the delicate bits around the outside. So I'll just add that with my dauber. Now I'm going to add the pink one on top. And mount this on the card blank. And now we can add our happy birthday down here. I'm going to put the birthday down first because I want the two words to overlap a bit. I don't want them to look too separate from one another. So the happy is going to go on top just a tiny bit of overlapping where the P's dangle down and the D sticks up. So I like that, it's nice and bright and airy. I've got some little dots that I've cut from gold cardstock with a variety of dies. These are all a little bit kind of wonky, they're not perfect circles. And I shall dot those around just to scatter a bit of that gold and bring in some bounce. And that is a very simple, clean card. Lots of white space, pops of colour, shiny gold and a readable sentiment. So we're on to card number six now. And I have used this stitch banner die to cut this from a gel print. I've already mounted my panel onto my card blank so I can go ahead and stick this on here and I want it landscape and to have this in the bottom half of the card and now I've got this doily die cut from vellum which I cut using this doily die and I use my Crafters Companion Tape Runner to stick that on because it's pretty good at not showing through the vellum. Next, I've got a fun, whimsical leaf die cut that I cut from white cardstock. And that brings some of the white forwards. And that's going to sit there over the doily to the left hand side a bit just get that all pressed down and now for the sentiment that's just going to sit on top like that maybe staggered I think so we'll get some glue glue down the happy first because that's going to go over to the left a bit and I'm going to have it like that that 
tail of the pea is just peeking through the bee there. So you can still tell that it's a bee and that's a pea. And now we can take a few small gold dots and dot them around just for a bit of something extra. And I think that will do. There's a bit more going on in this area here, but because the sentiment is gold, it still stands out. So this die is quite big. It's actually too big for this card blank, but I've got a plan. And what the two dies do is one cuts an outline and one cuts a colourful infill. So I've done one in gold and one in gel print. The first thing I need to do is back the letters that need backing. So the holes are filled in on the B, D and A, but the hole on the R is filled in by this one here. And I'm going to stick the gold foiled bit on top, but only as far as the H. Because, as I said, this is too big to go on the card as is. And I'm going to split it. I'm going to add the gold foil bit to the first half of the word the first half of the die cut, get it all lined up properly. And this is where it could all go horribly wrong, but I'm sure I'll be able to fix it if it does. I'm going to snip the die off. I think that's worked. Yep, that's worked from the H's perspective anyway. And I'm just going to snip that off there. And now for the day, I cut a second bit in gold. Just trim off the bit that belongs to the H. Add glue. And hopefully get that lined up properly. So now we've got happy birthday. Let's glue this down. I think I'm going to do it like this with this little bit of the Y overlapping the stitching like that little bit of the H. And I've got this die that cuts sequin shapes. So I'm going to cut some out of the remnants of the purpley bit. So there we have a few sequin type dots. And we'll add them up here. So we've got a bit of the purple up here. And to make these purpley sequins sparkle and shine a bit, I'm going to add some crystal glaze. Right, there we go. I'm very happy with that. I think the sentiment is definitely the start of the show on this one. So for our next card, we've got two dies from different sets. I don't know what happened to the happy that went with this birthday. It's floating around somewhere. But here I've got a happy that cuts out individual letters and they work well together I think. It's nice to mix the fonts up occasionally. But what I want to do with this is create an aperture with the words and I'm thinking down here in the bottom and I'll hold those in place with a sticky note and run that through my cuttle bug protecting the front. So I want to keep all the little bits that go in the letters of the birthday. So I'm going to push everything over there and hopefully not lose it. It doesn't matter if it does wander off because I can cut another one. But what I want to do is put some gold behind these cut out words. So I'll just glue the back there. So everything's got a bit of glue on it. And stick that on there like that. And I'm going to stick some card in the empty area just to make sure everything's nice and level. And now I want to stick the bits from the birthday back in. Just get them 
lined up so they make sense. So that's just another way of adding a sentiment. You can stick it on as a die cut or you can cut it out and have it as an aperture. And I've got here a gel print and I've cut it out using the same stitch rank rectangle die as I used on this one. And all I'm going to do is add it coming in from the top. I was wondering about maybe adding one or two little flowers which I'll cut out of this with this die something like that to bring the pink and the purple down and we can do two layers I think So there we go, a pink, a purple, floral, a leafy, gold card with another way of adding a sentiment. Right, we're on our penultimate card and it is the stamp and die combo that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Instead of using gold foiled cardstock, I gold heat embossed the stamped image using embossing ink, gold embossing powder, and then I use the die to cut out the die cut. For the gel prints, I chose a peacock feathers one, and I think this is salvaged patina, and cut out two leafy branchy things with this die. And I've already got the panel stuck on the card, and I'm just gonna stick it all together. I'm gonna add the lighter die cut, the salvaged patina die cut, in the background about there. And then the peacock feathers, the darker one in front. And I'm going to offset them so you can see both. And my happy birthday is going to go up on foam tape. And I'm going to stick that roughly in the middle, nice and straight, overlapping my branches. And I'm going to take the remnants of the gel prints and cut out some circles to dot about. I think I'll also add a few gold ones as well. And to finish off, I'm gonna add crystal glaze to all the dots, including the gold ones, just to give them some dimension. And that's it for this card. Some lovely pastel colours, delicate leaves and a spattering of dots with a lovely gold bold sentiment in the middle. So finally we come to our last card and our last happy birthday die. Now this die cuts a piece of paper in two. The lines go right from the edge all the way around the words to the other edge. So if I was to cut this panel like this, the only thing joining the top to the bottom part would be the words happy birthday. And you could put something behind it, a bit of colour or some gold, and that would be quite impactful. But I'm not just going to do that, I don't think. What I'm going to do is cut a slice out of this panel. And now I'm going to die cut the words from that. So this is going to eventually go on there like that. So I'm going to cover the back of this in glue and stick this onto some gold foiled cardstock. And then slice it down. And to make this edge look as if it's been die cut, and this edge I'm just going to run the embossing tool down it and now I'm going to stick this bit to this here and I'm going to use this stitched banner die 
to chop out a rectangle. And again, I'm just going to chop the side down. And this can go onto the panel on my card blank, about there, I think. And everything should line up. And I don't want to add any more gold to it. I want this strip of gold to be the star of the show. But I will add some white Nouveau drops. Just three down here. And then three up here. And I think we are done. So that is ten cards made from... 10 card blanks, 10 panels, 10 gel prints, and 10 different happy birthday dies, plus a few other dies thrown in for good measure. I really hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you at least one idea of something you can do with the happy birthday or any sentiment dies in your stash. I'd love to know if there is a particular card, die, or technique that you're gonna try, so please do let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to see more from me, do subscribe and ring the notification bell and I'll see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.